Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how computers have impacted our society. Please note that this is an important topic in your CPA theory paper. At the end of this tutorial, there will be 5 review questions which you will need to type your answers in a Google form. When we are back in class, we will further discuss the benefits as well as the negative effects of computers in our lives. There are four areas where computers have impacted society, mainly in entertainment, education, work, and daily life. Starting off the first category, I'm going to show you photos of computers used in entertainment. Can you guess what each photo is talking about? Let's summarize what you just saw. There was a photo on the use of computer to create, upload, and share music and videos in the internet. This can be done very easily. You can also try it one day. Next, the photo taken from the movie Jurassic Park shows how movie directors use computer-generated images, also known as CGI, of dinosaurs to be screened alongside with real actors and actresses. We have also the massive multiplayer online role-playing games. And well, you may have guessed that one of such games will be the World of Warcraft. Lastly, yeah, you are entertained by your beloved social networks like Facebook and Instagram for you to stay connected with friends and which may also provide many other games online. I am sure you can name me many many more other examples how computers are used for entertainment but for now we will stop at social networks let's look at how computers are used for teaching and learning spend a few moments to look at these photos If you are familiar with Ace Learning, MC Online, and Ask and Learn, you will have discovered them in the photos shown earlier. Students are provided with personal accounts to log in to such computer-based packages to learn at their own pace. In school, students have learned various software like Microsoft Office, which are very useful when they are required to use for project work. Finally, for communication purpose, teachers use websites to update announcements and also use an email system to communicate with parents and students. A very good example would be our Google Apps for Education Gmail platform. I'm now going to show you new photos for computers at work. If you think about your teachers, parents, relatives, or older siblings who are now working, you will probably relate to some of the photos. Well, there is a photo taken from Jack Neal's movie, Just Follow Law, which shows how company staff use email to communicate with each other in, the own, in their own organization. Of course, emails are also sent to suppliers and customers to get the sales moving. Since online shopping has recently become so popular, businesses are also moving to e-commerce to sell their products. This has resulted in many credit cards transactions taking place every single minute. As time and resources are precious, some factories have invested a lot of money in the use of robots and machines to automate their processes. 
This is especially so for car factories because robots can carry heavy equipment easily compared to a human being who would have suffered under the weight. Finally, in the last bit of the slide, the use of fingerprint system or cut stuff cut with embedded microchip has tremendously increased efficiency and the security of workplaces. There are four more points regarding the use of computers at work. In school, teachers use computers to create lessons, materials, and set exam papers. In the library, librarians use technology to monitor membership details and loan records. Imagine how they need to send reminders to borrowers to return the book. Well, Mail merge would be the most helpful in this situation because mail merge can create many letters of the same main content but to different names, different book titles and perhaps even the amount of fine they have to pay. Finally, web conferencing refers to holding a meeting over the internet. Participants from all over the world can see and hear each other in real time. This is extremely popular in companies, particularly to overcome the problem of different time zones and also overcome the problem of increasing costs to travel to see each other. The last part of our video is the use of computers in our daily life. Look at the photos in the next slide. Many of us will admit we can no longer do without computers and internet in our lives. How about you? Are you one of those who will check or reply to your SMSs as you wait at the traffic lights. In the latest market survey, 88% of Singaporeans own a smartphone. We are endlessly surfing the internet as many of our phones are connected wirelessly using 3G or 4G network. With the advanced technology, healthcare has improved as medical equipment becomes better also, doctors can assess patients' health records easily and therefore they can make better diagnosis. Have you used NTUC's self-checkout station before? Computers used in the point-of-sale station, otherwise known as the cashier, have made this possible. Customers pay and pack their purchases on their own. When it comes to banking, for anyone who simply like to check their account balances, pay funds or transfer funds easily, internet banking has become the top solution. Finally, we use computers to control road and air traffic, as well as weather forecasts. Without computers, and if we rely entirely on humans to do the job, we may expect a lot of delays, inaccuracy, or even lack of manpower in carrying out this task. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Feel free to scroll back and forth in this video to answer the five review questions. Once you are ready, please type in your answers in the link given to you. Thank you for watching.